It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Today we're gonna react to a video that was done by 60 Minutes Australia, which I found to be particularly ridiculous. The video is called Meet the Day Bites, not baby boys, not baby girls, Sunday on 60 Minutes. Meet the new parodying trend letting young children choose their own gender. Without further hesitation, let's go into this rabbit hole. We didn't assign a gender at birth. I'm letting this little person be who they want to be. It is an experiment. What they're doing is unprecedented. On 60 Minutes. You can't tell what your gender is by looking at your body. What are some of the biggest challenges? Strangers in the street have had quite a strong response. Why are you so obsessed? Why do you need to know? We're not trying to eliminate gender. It's really helping kids find their own path to it. Sunday on 9 and 9 Now. When I saw this video for the first time, I noticed that the parents are opposing something on the kids that is known as gender ideology or gender theory. So what exactly is gender ideology or gender theory? The idea of gender theory comes directly from a person named Judith Butler, and she's actually known for Franco-centric philosophy, cultural theory, career theory, and some schools of philosophical feminism from the late 20th century. According to Britannica, it says in her best-known work, Gender Trouble, Feminism and Subversion of Identity in its sequel, Butler built upon the familiar cultural theoretic assumption that gender is socially constructed, the result of socialization broadly conceived, rather than innate, and the conventional notions of gender and sexuality serve to perpetuate the traditional denomination of women by men to justify the oppression of homosexuals and transgender persons. One of her innovations was to suggest that gender is constructed by action and speech by behavior which gender traits and dispositions are exhibited and acted out. In particular, gender is not an underlying essence of nature of which gender behavior is the product. It is a series of acts whose constant representation create the illusion that underlying nature exists. In my last video about Richard Dawkins, I talked about how basically the idea of gender comes directly from a person named John Money. Now, prior to this feminist activist, John Money was the guy that ex performed experimentations on little kids who are actually, you can say, intersex. And through experimentation, that's why he has the idea right now. He also went after a kid and did surgery on his penis, and since then, the guy actually suffered heavily from penis damage. I would highly recommend you guys to watch that video to get more details about the history behind John Money. Now, the idea that sex and gender are different is completely absurd, largely because we know that the male brain is actually 10% larger in comparison to the female brain, it has stronger front-to-back connection, and it's optimized for motor skills. Now, some health impacts for male brains include more likely to develop alcohol dependence, they're actually three more times more likely to be diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder, they're four times more likely to have autism, and twice as likely to develop Parkinson's disease. Now, the female brain has stronger side-to-side -side connections, and they're optimized for inductive thinking and have more gray matter. Now, some health impacts because of the female brain is that they're twice more likely to have depression, they're twice as likely to develop autonomous disease, and they're more likely to have a stroke in comparison to males. We also know that the male and female human fetal external genitalia starts out at in a different stage around eight to nine weeks gestation and fully grow differently into a penis or a clitoris and which is fully formed by the 17th or 18th weeks into pregnancy. We also know that females tend to produce more estrogen in comparison to males and that males tend to produce more testosterone. And so the question is, how can you possibly separate the ideas of gender and sex if they're actually intertwined? Because it's actually the female brain that makes females feel like they're females, and it's actually the male brain that makes male feel like males. And so you cannot necessarily separate the two because it's all connected to our brains. Even among transgender individuals, we do know that they either feel like a male or they either feel like a female. 
So yes, there's actually two genders, two sex, they're intertwined with each other because even trans people feel one way or the other way. So when I see videos such as this, I cannot help but just think that's actually child abuse. Largely because those kids will actually grow up not knowing who they really are because their parents decide to oppose an ideology on them since they're actually young and because of that they're going to be in a state of confusion as a result of their parents. It is one thing if somebody is actually a grown adult and want to have this ideology for themselves. That's fine, that's great. It's another thing when you indoctrinate children this ideology without any sort of critical thought or critical thinking because you feel as though that this ideology is actually for everybody. That itself is really, really cult-like. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.